Hi, this is Mr. Campbell, and this is my video blog for week six. Uh, today is September the 16th, and we'll go ahead and jump right into it. So in Social Studies 8 this week, we've continued <coughs> our Explorer debates. In fact, in fourth period, we concluded our Explorer debates. Um, I think the students really enjoyed it. Um, that fourth hour group is a little bit smaller. It only has 16 or 17 students in it. Um, and so... Um, my third hour group, which is quite a bit larger, it has approaching 30 students in that class. Uh, this coming week, they'll be finishing that up. We'll also be taking a unit two test. Now, this unit two test is going to be uh, somewhat different because um, two of the three lectures that will be uh, that I normally would give in class, um, at least two of those three lectures will be delivered and have been delivered via via video, much like if you're watching this video, um, students will have gotten those lectures through videos posted on YouTube. Um, they were given fill-in notes in class. I alluded to this last week. Uh, they had to turn those notes in. I still haven't put those notes in the gradebook yet, um, at least the first round of notes. Um, and so the students will have received the material that way. So it's a little bit different. Uh, some of the things that I really like about it are, uh, you know, students that maybe missed a day in class, um, you know, or, or, or maybe those students that really would just like to watch the videos again, would like to just see the material done again. Uh, they have the opportunity to do that. Um, and there's no, there's no confusion as to, you know, what, what was, what was meant, you know, and, 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 and all that kind of things, or, you know, there's no confusion on how they're going to get the material because it's in, it, it's in video form. They can very easily access it, um, just by accessing Google Classroom or my website. And so I'm kind of excited about that. However, the drawbacks are they don't get a chance to really, um, to ask their questions in real time. Um, they obviously can, can come ask me questions anytime that they deem it necessary or any, anytime that they have questions, but they don't have that, um, that in the moment ability to ask me a question uh, when they're watching a video. So it really puts the, uh, puts the emphasis on the student that, you know, if you've got a question about the material that you saw in the video, you really have to come ask me. Um, you really have to come ask me, you know, the next day or, um, you know, you can always fire off an email or my students can always, uh, can always, I think, I think they're able to, to tweet at me on Twitter. I don't know how that works. Um, because I, I, as I said at the beginning of the year, I don't follow any of my students on Twitter. That's just a line that I refuse to, refuse to cross, but they can always drop me an email. Um, and so that's kind of something that's different, kind of something that ex that's exciting. So after we finish those Explorer debates in third hour, uh, we'll be preparing for and then taking a unit two test this coming week. U.S. history has kind of been a mixed bag. Um, we reviewed Jefferson, Jackson, the presidencies of Jefferson and Jackson. And then we also talked about sort of the causes of the Civil War, the buildup to the Civil War. Um, watched a video over that. We also then did a web quest that is due Monday over uh, the war itself. Um, and then today we finished up by talking about Reconstruction. All of this is review. Um, and so this week, this coming week, we can finally begin the Gilded Age, which is where we really, uh, we will really hit a more structured uh, unit to unit um, pace. And we will be more structured in terms of, you know, lectures at the beginning of the week, generally to the middle or the end of the week, we'll start doing um, some type of activity, um, whether it's an image analysis, which I have planned um, for, I believe, Thursday, or I know on Friday my plan is uh, to do sort of a short example of collective bargaining where the students will get to collective bargain with me, um, which is something that, that's always fairly interesting. Um, we'll begin to get into sort of a little bit more of a rhythm in my U.S. history classes. We've kind of been a little helter-skelter in there, um, but again, it's because a lot of that material is simply review material. Um, and, and, and it's a good time for me to get a feel of what the students uh, were taught when they were in eighth grade. This is the, this is the last group of, of students that will not have had me in eighth grade uh, for eighth grade social studies here at Attica. And so it's been really, uh, really just kind of getting a feel for where they're at. Finally, dual credit uh, U.S. history. To this week we did chapter six. Uh, we knocked out the French and Indian War. Um, we're going to be taking a quiz over that on Monday. Um, and now chapter seven, as we move forward, is sort of the road to revolution. Um, I would like to be taking a chapter seven quiz um, 
a week from Monday. I'd like to kind of get on that week time frame, um, if not, maybe a little bit quicker, uh, so we, that we can get through some some of that material a little bit faster um, and dual credit. So we're going to be we're really going to be blasting through some material. Um, those students, I think, are doing a really good job, though, of staying on top of the reading. They have the ability for their reading quizzes, which are which are pretty difficult. They now have the ability to take um, and use their own notes from their reading. They are not allowed to use their classroom notes that we do in lecture, um, but they can take their own reading notes. They can sort of tailor them to what they anticipate will be in the quizzes now that they've taken a couple of them. I think they have a pretty good idea of how those are going to go throughout the rest of the year. Um, so they do have that ability. Um, and it's something that I think a lot of students are, are, are at least intending on taking advantage of for Monday. So that's where we've been, sort of where we're headed in my classroom. Um, some extracurricular notes. Uh, the junior varsity football team, did, we, did, uh, we did experience our first loss on Monday to Covington. Um, Covington played a really, really good game. Uh, we, quite frankly, didn't play our best football. And, and that's what happens when you don't, when you don't you know, put your best product out there in the field. Um, great learning um, experience for our guys, um, and so we'll we'll kind of pick our heads up and move on this Monday as we uh, we finally come back home and we will play Seeger on Monday night at uh, Lewis Bruce Field at six. Uh, the girls' golf team has really been tearing it up. They have won five out of their last six matches, I believe, um, and they I think are actually headed into sectional play. Um, if it is not this Saturday, it is next Saturday. I'm pretty sure it's this Saturday, though, so good luck to those girls um, who are competing in sectionals. They've really been tearing it up the last couple of weeks. Uh, volleyball had a tough week. I know they dropped two matches uh, to some pretty high-quality opponents. Uh, I believe Fountain Central and Southmont. Um, so, you know, again, you know, struggling a little bit. Um putting together some solid effort, but 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 falling a little bit short. Uh, cross Country also competed in Bi-County. Um, I believe that was last night. Finally, tonight is uh, varsity football, and we are playing Fountain Central at home. Um, and so we are looking forward to having a great crowd tonight uh, at Lewis Bruce Stadium as we welcome the Mustangs um, up here to Attica. So that's all I've got for you uh, for this week. Um, I will see you next week for week seven.